It's Carol from bookreporter.com here to share what you're going to see on the site on Friday, May 22nd, going into the long weekend, kick off to summer, Memorial Day weekend. Get out your beach chair, be ready to go. Okay, the first book we've got is The Motion of Body Through Space by Lionel Shriver. Those of you may remember Lionel Shriver as the author of We Need to Talk About Kevin. Next, we've got The Wife Stalker by Liv Constantine, a thriller. Um, I think this will be, it's a two sister writing duo. They always write terrific thrillers together. And for Melissa, Marissa De Los Santos, we've got I'd Give Anything. Um, James Patterson and Maxine Pietro have a new book. It's called The 20th Victim out this week. And also we've got A Good Marriage by Kimberly McCree and uh, The Book of V, which is by Anna Solomon. So great lineup for you this week. Lots to take away to go read. Also, we've got three bets on titles. The first is The Paris Hours by Alex George. I interviewed him this week, so we've got the podcast and video of this as well. Um, the podcasts have been doing amazingly well. By Monday night of this week, we'd already exceeded what we did all last month. So you're listening, you're sharing. The more people you can share them with, the better. But we're really getting some great traction, great following these. So enjoy this one with Alex. We had a great time chatting. In addition to being author, he's a bookseller and he also runs a literary festival. I picked up this book, Tiny Imperfections by Ali Frank and Ayusha uh, Humans back in uh, with ALA. And as soon as I picked it up, I knew that this was going to be a book that would make me be charmed and laugh at the same time. And it's absolutely wonderful. It's about this woman that's working in a private school, what's going on in her life, her personal life. She's trying to date. She's raising a child. It's just so super well done. And they actually worked together and then became a writing team. So we'll have my bets on for that. And We'll have My Bets On for the Heirloom Garden by Viola Shipman. I was actually looking for Bleeding Hearts Flowers last week when I was at the, uh, the Garden Center. The Garden Center is interesting. There are a lot of plants that didn't come in this year, and they didn't come in because they canceled them from the growers because they had no idea what the pandemic was going to mean for people gardening this year. I mean, people um, are gardening up a storm. People are out there doing this like nonstop. So we, remember, we had the video and podcast with Viola Shipman a couple of weeks ago. Wade Rouse, who writes as Viola Shipman, got the heirloom garden. My mom read this one this week and just gave it hands down. She's recommending it for her book club. And we also have, we're kicking off our Father's Day promotion. We have six books we're going to be giving away for this. The first one is Scott Turow's The Last Trial. We had the interview with him last week. Big, great book for giving away for dad. We've got Factfulness, and it's, let me just read this, 10 Reasons We're Wrong About the World and Why Things Are Better Than, they, than You Think. And I think that right now, this is a kind of book that we really want to be reading because everybody thinks everything is down and out and not so great. Let's take a look at Factfulness. From Brad Meltzer and Josh Mensch, we've got The Lincoln Conspiracy. Um, maybe there was a chance that Lincoln was tried to be assassinated before the time it actually happened. And this is the background story of this based on history. We've got this Tender Land from William Ken Kruger, which is just going to be out in paperback on Tuesday, May 26th. And we've got a book that I am absolutely crazy about. It's going to be a bets on selection. I'm interviewing him. And that interview will run next week. It's Hollywood Park by Mikhail Jolet. You are going to be hearing so much about this book, a really powerful memoir for those who love the glass castle and educated and books like that about people who have been through a lot in their lives and where they've gone from there. You want to be reading Hollywood Park. It's going to be a book everyone's going to be talking about this summer. And I'm so looking forward to speaking with him. This also is going to be one of our summer giveaway, uh, summer reading giveaway books next week. So you've got two opportunities, two different contests for you to be entering to win copies of Hollywood Park. We also have, as one of our summer reading books next week, The Jane Austen Society, which is by Natalie Jenner. This is a book that's been showing up on a lot of lists as something that people are really excited about. I'm looking forward to dipping into it as well. And the other book that we're going to be giving away next week is Hideaway, which is by Nora Roberts. So we've got the six Father's Day books, three, because it's holiday next week, three summer reading titles, lots to do. And for those of you who have been watching Apple TV Plus like me, I went to the office the other day and grabbed my 2012 copy of Defending Jacob. Loving the show on Apple TV Plus, or Apple Plus TV, or Apple TV Plus. Yeah, Apple TV Plus. Thoroughly enjoying this. It wraps, um, I want to say, the last Friday on the 29th of May. Um, one episode's been better than the next, so something to look forward to. 
Me, this weekend, lots of gardening, bought plants last week, going out to buy more this week. Totally ready for the long weekend. And uh, I think the pool is going to be freezing, but hey, it's open. There's a wetsuit somewhere. Have a great long weekend. See you next week. Thanks for watching and thanks for reading.